finna be success if you ain't headed to it. I'm grinding hard, nigga. Yeah. It's for my yeah. daughters. Welcome 420. We here with motherfucking Andrew Snow. And now tell everybody where you from. So I'm from the east side, East Houston. Originally from Bear Station. I really jumped off the porch on you, Valdi. 300 block, Audrey Lane. You know what I'm saying? I'm original, you bad boy. All right, and Andrew Snow, is that your real name? Andrew came from a t the twenty dollar bill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Andrew Jackson on the twenty dollar bill. But then, then like I, I had like I had grew like a strong attachment to like at one at one point I was really like strong on some jamming Pimp C shit. Like Pimp C, like his, his mind frame was really like speaking to me. Yeah. So I started like he called this a Tony Snow. So I just took the snow from him. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's where this shit came from. That's good. What keep you inspired? What, what what made you start this music back? What made me start rapping? Like no bullshit was Lil Bow Wow. Like real shit. I can Bow -Wow. believe it because I've known this man for a long time. <laughs> we used to wear bandanas and ties and everything. Lil Bow Wow made you start rapping. That's real. You you, you we of the older age. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no young boy ass era. We from the Bow Wow age. The so. Bow Wow era. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Around that time, like Bow Wow was the only young nigga rapping. You know what I'm saying? Super young. Super, super young. It tripped me out because, like, I always loved rap music as a child. But then when I seen a child, like, a little bit older than me come out, come in the game and just get to, like, really be in the game with all the adults and shit, that shit really inspired me as a younger. I'm like, when I, when I started rapping, I was thinking about shit I was going through. I'm like, damn, my story sound kind of like Tupac shit. Like, the shit that I'm going through, like, as far as, like, being really, like, in poverty type shit. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm from Bear, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, understandable. Yeah, yeah. From Bear from the yeah. east side, the Bear's nation. I totally understand. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm with niggas going from giving me a dollar to asking me for a dollar. Like, I'm niggas I looked up to turning to dope fiends type shit, like real shit. Yeah. So, like, I'm thinking about my shit. I'm like, damn, if I start rapping, like, niggas gonna really wanna hear my shit. That's, and that's at a young age. And nine years old. So, okay. I just start writing this shit. Yeah. And, uh, who'll be like, who'll be your top, top five artists of all time? Top five, yeah. dead or alive. Yeah, you can be dead. You can do do old, do old, and do right now. So who your top five? They can be dead or alive for old and for right now. That's who alive. All right. Pac first off. Pac. More fucking. Sada baby. Okay. Uh. Andre three thousand. Six of them, but damn. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm take Sada Baby out because he just. All right, so yeah, now, like, I really feel like he belong in there, but it's just niggas that, that really pay paved the way. Like I can't, I can't, I can't not include Weezy. I can't not include Jay Z or Eminem. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so give me an order, give me. All right, <laughs> I say number one, Pop. Number one. All right. Number two. Oh shit! Number two, Kendrick Lamar. I'm tripping. Number three, Wayne. Number four, Drake. Number five, Eminem. I can respect your list. Your list is not, it's not blasphemy like all these other fucking lists I've been saying. Yeah. Uh -huh. I really pay attention to like lyrics. I listen to words. I don't, I don't jam shit because the beat loud. Yeah, you listen, you listen to what the fuck they say. Real shit. Real shit. And who be, for this generation, like right now, who you fucking with? I'm fucking trippy red. Okay. Side of baby, like I said. Yeah. Like that nigga go hard. Trippy Red, Side of Baby, Envy Kane. And CML. He from Sacramento. That nigga go hard in a bit. What's his name? CML. Cash Money Lavish D. CML. Put people on. He from what? He from Sacramento, South Sacramento and shit. But that nigga hard. I've been jamming that nigga shit for years though. Okay. Uh, you feel like hood issues is everywhere? Yeah. Like, that shit is in the shadow. You gotta, you gotta go through it. I mean, you ain't gotta go through it. If you mind your business, you good. Mm -hmm. But you gonna face some shit. You gonna see some shit. It's gonna be some shit that's gonna happen. You just gotta, you gotta be prepared for what's gonna come. Regardless, you gotta know something gonna come and be prepared for it. You can't, you, you gotta know this. Some shit you ain't gonna be able to escape. And whatever you can't control, you can't, you can't control change. Control what you can control. Yeah, exactly. For real shit. So like, what keep you motivated? I don't know what it is, but I know 
I get, I get a feeling whenever I'm, whenever I'm, whenever it come down to something I'm passionate about, like I, I, it's something I'm driving, like all the way till I'm finished. Like a lot of niggas be telling me, asking me about the music shit, be like, damn, nigga, you ain't gave up yet. I'm like, I, I ain't gonna lie, in my mind, I gave up a lot of times, but it just don't work like that. Like I still wake up with it on my mind. I still wanna, I still wake up motivated. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. The fuck I'm gonna do so this? It's a calling. You definitely ain't supposed to be doing it. So you gotta, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really be, you gotta die for what you wanna do, for what you believe in. You mm-hmm. believe in yourself, you believe. So obviously you do. So you just gotta keep going. Yeah, shit. Same. How long you been rapping? It's about like nine years old. Crazy thing, nigga, my motherfucking mama was rapping with street military and shit, man. That's like, why I didn't know that. I didn't know that shit. I, I found out when I got, when, when she found out, I, I was writing this shit. Oh, okay. She uh she used to rap with them. My daddy was a rapper. My uncle he a he a known legend like out there in, in uh San Diego. You know what I'm saying his name Sugar Shell S H U G A S H A L T. Like we looked that nigga up. They in the comments said this nigga a legend. This that and the other. You know what I'm saying he really known. He really put in that work. But he just he just got out of jail. He he ain't got fifty years for some shit. But they just let him lie. He beat the case. He was, he was gone for about nine years. Damn, that's tough. And then imagine being about to take off there and go to jail for nine years. Like, that shit crazy. Being from East Houston, then why, why don't you reach out to like gas gangs or different East Houston artists? That shit crazy. Gas gang, I, I really, I fuck, I fuck with they shit. Like, they ain't they really putting on for my, ain't nobody really put on, ever put on for Barry like that. Like, that it's shit. Like they doing it. Yeah, yeah, like, that shit really, that shit epic. I ain't gonna lie, you can't ignore that shit, but I ain't gonna lie. The shit, I ain't gonna lie, I, I fuck with that shit. It was on some street politics shit. Like, I'm a, I'm a real nigga. Like, if my nigga don't like you, I won't talk to you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? If my nigga don't fuck with you, I, I, I won't fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And if I do fuck with you already, it's on some shit like, all right, well then, it, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to, have to respect each person and Chill with both of like, them. Like, I'm on time type shit. I ain't make sure they don't collide type shit, shit like that. But on some shit, like, I ain't gonna lie, we grew up, we grew up in the same. I used to watch the Jeremy do, uh, hop on the stage at the, at the, at the Catholic Church. They used to do, like, freestyle and shit. Like, niggas used to get on stage. Yeah. I used to be scared to go up there. Yeah. That nigga used to hop up there and get the speed in front of everybody, shit like that. One of my niggas, one of my close partners had, like, an issue with the Jeremy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, out of respect for my partner, I never would have reached out to that nigga, like, mm-hmm. on some shit, like. You ain't step on nobody's toes. Yeah, like, I ain't want my partner to feel like I'm on some fake shit type shit, like. Yeah. yeah it, it do seem like, like, a lot of Houston, Houston rap artists, it seem like they don't really fuck with each other. Why you think, why you think that is? This nigga, bro, I don't, the internet made it like that, like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real, my mama. <laughs> Niggas get, a, like, a little, little responses on their shit. Get a little feedback and then they that shit goes to their head. Like niggas get to thinking they made it already and shit and get to handling you like you ain't having made it shit type shit. Like, yeah. like nigga, like we not right down the street from each other, living in the same neighborhood, in the same circumstances. Nigga, you so, just, you think, so you think when they when they get to a, when they get to like a certain point, they trying to shit on they fellow people that's from their own hood instead of trying to help them and put them on too. You feel yeah, like they try to shit on them instead of trying to help. When I used to fuck with a lot of East Side orders. It's just a different reason. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I can't see the conclusion. I just need to blow by myself. And if I, if I, who I, whoever I fuck with, I'm gonna come back with, come back and let them niggas, bring them niggas with me. Shit, but that's how I gotta be. That's how I gotta be. You gotta get it on your, get it on your own and put everybody on. I carried niggas for a minute. You know, speaking of, speaking of the ganja, do you like guns or papers? Guns. I hate papers. You hate it's like wasting weed to me. It's like just smoking. It's like smoking a cigarette. You gonna have to smoke again right after this. You have to smoke like five papers, bro, to get the same high from two blunts. So you know, cause the blunts give that tobacco give you an extra high. Yeah. So that's why I, I be needing that. That's that's right. <laughs> oh, that dude, whatever that shit is, they gotta be on my shit. Oh, God. Uh, you, like, you like sativa? Sativa. Hold on, indica is like the down, like the make chill in the couch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like nah, fuck that shit. Like, I don't like being all lazy and shit. I like the up active ass shit. Like it's a team, it's a team. 
question. Uh, I got some questions for you. You can ask them how you want to answer. It's just like one word question. All right. A two word. Okay. Uh, what are you looking for? Like, 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 what I just love titties, bro. Like, all of them. You I love sucking titties, bro. The A cups. The A cup. All cups. It just can't look like a, a nigga cup. It just can't be just nipples. That's like, I can't fuck around. <laughs> <Just Jamie cup. laughs> <laughs> cup. Left or right? Left or right? Right. I'm righteous. Red or blue? Uh, red. NFL or NBA? I don't even fuck with sports, but I'm gonna say NBA. Fuck with basketball, but but if if I if I was to do anything, it'll be basketball. But not, I don't even fuck with sports at all. Black or white? Black. Religion and science. Ooh, I'm gonna pass on that one. Why go pass on it? <laughs> Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna make nobody feel no type of way about the shit I be saying. Like, yeah. this is a you can say what you want to say. I condone it. <laughs> I condone it. Religion or science? Speak on it. Science. I don't, I, don't really, I don't really believe in religion. Like, I don't believe in practices and rituals and shit like that. I feel like all that shit is. So you feel like, like, where you feel like mankind came from? Mankind? Where did it come from? I feel like mankind came from somewhere that I can't tell you. I don't know. I can't, I don't even know. I ain't about to act like I, man, mankind came from, because it's a lot of shit that men told us that shit, and it's a whole bunch of shit, so I don't know. I, I wasn't here for the origin. I can only take speak on shit that happened since I've been here. True. Yeah, sure. Our books are good books, bro. It's good to know. Like, if you want to know something about a nigga, like, let them tell you type shit. Like, if a nigga don't, you, you pay attention, bro, you be quiet, you gonna find out some shit about anything you want to know. You know what I'm saying, but... And people don't read books, but like I ain't gonna lie, I, I just uh, I got I gotta soak that shit up. I be, I be feeling like I don't know enough, regardless. Yeah, every day. Now, water or fire? What are we talking about? Like, what, which one do I like more? Water or fire? <laughs> which one? Is water. Why? Why you say that? Cause water brings life. I like that. When you the burgers? Burgers, man. I can eat burgers all fucking day. I swear to God. Burgers. I can eat. I can eat on so, a straight burger diet on everything. So on burgers game. over tacos. Burgers. Tacos and wings. Tacos. 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 Just type in Andrew Snow with a dollar sign for the snow. You know what I'm saying? I'm on all this shit. I got I got uh, I got my SoundCloud, Andrew Jody Snow. Like my I got a song with this nigga Icky. My boy Icky Hefner. Shout out to my brother. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, we, we did a mixtape call on Gang though. Mm -hmm. That hoe was fire. Eight songs. The single we did, we shot a video for that whole car. I did it, that whole got 40k on SoundCloud right now. That's the most views I ever seen. 40k? Yeah. That's nice. On my hill, ain't got no time to cake up with no bitch. I'm in the trap on the phone with my lips. In the trap on the phone. Nike bags smell like gassy cologne. Back in the gap, I mean back in the trap. I was hustling back with a stack in the